My name is Safi Zoyetoro, popularly known as Saka. I am on set of uh, Alijendo. Yeah, my name is Tito Harrison. I'm an Hollywood actor. I'm on the movie set of uh, Alijendo. My name is Oluwashio Akinson, yeah. Mr. A.K. Mr. Correct Man. Yes, uh, we are in a location of Alejandro, Alejandro, Alejandro. It's going to be a bomb. Um, Alejandro is an international movie that was shot uh, in the US and part of it was shot in Nigeria. It's a very good, educative, entertaining story. You can imagine um, we have a lot of uh, top uh, US actors, one, uh, one of, uh, some of, some of top uh, Mexican actor, American actor, even UK actor, and top Nigerian actor. I'm talking in lines of uh, Tina Mba, uh, uh, Tina Mba, uh, Nasi Sime, Uncle Afis Ayetoro, Tito Erickson, Posta, and some other actor, a fantastic actor like that. Alejandro. It's a, it's a big time movie you must watch. Well, so filming has been actually really good. Um, this is the second location I've been to. I feel like things have you know, ran a lot smoother um, since we got into the courthouse. So it's been really good. I've met a lot of wonderful people, so I'm having a great time. Hi, my name is Joshua Pineda. I'm playing for the character Alejandro in the movie Alejandro. Uh, so far, I've been shooting. I've been here for about two, the past two days. Experience has been awesome. I uh, met a lot of great people, directors, really cool, uh, producer, and all the camera people have been doing an awesome job. Uh, we've just been killing it. Hi, I'm Kat. I'm the makeup instructor at Clary Stage College. I also freelance in film, so I brought my hair and makeup girls here so they can see life on set and get credited for their first movie. Okay, I don't know if you guys know this. I just got this role, like, literally the two days ago. Like, I, have, I didn't read the script or anything, so it's... Okay, so what happened was I went to the, you know, the, the call to read for Alejandro was me and another gentleman. Um, and I, actually, two days ago, I was at the orthodontist with my little brother because he was getting his braces. And the producer, Sam, calls me. He's like, hey, uh, I need you to be on standby for Alejandro. And he was like, I'm going to call you in like 20 to 30 minutes. He was like, and are you available today to shoot? And I was like, uh, yeah. So, um, you know, that was a very nervous moment. I didn't want to get too excited because he said it wasn't like a for sure thing. So, you know, I get home, I'm getting ready. He sends a message. He's like, yep, we need you here. They give me the role and here I am. So it's just been, you know, a little crazy trying to remember the lines same day of the shoot and stuff. So Space behind me, you can see this great office space, which is also where we did our table read. Um, and we've got rooms in the back where we're doing hair and makeup. And so there's actually a lot going on in a very small space that, of course, you'll never guess when you actually watch the film and see us all in a banquet hall. Yeah, it's about my height. I'll tell her that me a little bit. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, okay. Okay. We just want to be I am your Masa new Abu Dhabi. Okay, so let's see. If you help me, see, I will help you and your family. No problem, thank you. I play the role of uh, Sumanu, an average real estate practitioner who especially is uh, dealing with buying and selling of land and some other things that you know are related to it. Uh, it's a very honest, very simple uh, somebody that needs uh, no effort to actually follow the process in the in the business of buying and selling of lands. Um, something happened. One of his uh, staff. You know, actually made a mistake, and that was a big problem. 
but uh, he calls his brother abroad and um, that one is able to you know, you know, save him from the embarrassment. Playing Adela. Adela is basically a child who is still in school, trying to, she has a good heart, um, she believes in helping people and she's, you know, so excited about helping people, having her own charity organization. Actually, I'm an employee to uh, a GM of a company. I think uh, the character, Tinamba, I'm, I'm one of our employees, I'm a senior manager in a company. Patience, patience is the you know, the humble house girl, so <laughs> that's my role. <laughs> well, the scene that we're currently um, filming is where they're about to send Alejandro to prison and Lucas was able to, you know, get, oh my God. <laughs> well, we're doing the courtroom scene, so it's, it's a very pivotal moment in the film. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> my name is Emmanuel. I'm the director of the movie Alejandro. I got involved in this, being involved in this is sort of a, what's the right word to use? It's more like a, something a bit bigger than, you know, uh, bigger than me in that sense. It's my first, uh, it's not my first directing job in the US, it's my third job, but with the scale of, you know, of what we are trying to project, the projection is, is the biggest I've done, you know, so far. So it's it feels like um, it felt a bit. It felt like, oh, would I still be would I be able to pull this off? But yes, creativity is creativity, no matter what. You know, you just bring your best to the table, and yes, so far we've been able to knock it off. Yeah, so we're shooting that scene where Alejandro's, you know, the court scene. Um, it's been really really cool. A lot of a lot of moving around and you know setting everywhere else but uh, uh, I think this is uh, a, a happy moment in the movie because you know Alejandro's getting his uh, attorney because he didn't have one so it's just been it represents what some of the struggles the male figure you know go through in the family be it a good person a bad person or being in the middle uh, oftentimes there's this old pressure on the male figure in the home front and in the society whereby you know you have to work so hard and uh, provide for your family. So we see a diverse um, story whereby we see a lawyer who is so serious about his job and uh, is loving his family the way his family is not really feeling loved in that sense because oftentimes women and children want your time. But as men, we think, oh, once I provide for them, I give them money and all of that, then that's it. So that's on the other side. And we see another actor, you know, that goes into uh, supporting his family very well, but he got into trouble being in the wrong place at the wrong time and that put him in a whole lot of trouble, which helps the whole narrative of the story and the movie to come alive. And I want to thank everybody on set, the director. Uh, incidentally, I'm working with him for the first time and I see a young, um, creative and calm person on set. So it's like uh, all other people on set, we've been together, so we are not uh, strangers to each other. I think we have no tension on set, we are just doing it. <laughs> we are just the normal something. So don't let me start, you know, doing what they call praise singing of uh, people on set. The normal thing is uh, the director is uh, the uh, production is uh, uh. What is important now is that we are working and working is going on fine. No, no, it wasn't the first time. Way back, actually, I joined the system since 87. And uh, apparently since I joined, I've really not left for a year except when I went on sabbatical 
So I've been part and parcel of the entertainment industry. And all, you see, the, the idea is this. You meet, act and part. Some you might not meet for years again. But when you meet again, there's this great reunion. More like you really have missed each other. And you see, the groove continues. <laughs> I think myself and Tina had been on several sets, though, stage. Stage at the National Theatre and a couple of other places, yeah. Going well, I mean, it's a one-day shoot for us here in Nigeria. I think they already shot the beat in America and some other places, I think. So it's just a one day for us. Yeah, it's going well. I'm working with people I've worked with before and who I absolutely adore. And to Tina and Ban, Uncle Afit, so it or... Yeah, I think it's a privilege to be one of the features in, in it. And uh, why I actually accepted it is because of the privilege of it's going to be premiered all over the world. And I think such job gives uh, one the leverage to be seen on a wider space, you know what I'm saying? Screen as it were. Because uh, though actually I've been on Sabbatica for a while. This is one of my, feature, my few features since I came back about um, January this year. So I think uh, it's a development in the, in the right direction. The organizers have been really, really cool. The director, the producer, everybody is, you know. And the actors on set too, they've been very nice. So it's nice being here. It's actually my first time on set though. So, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> the director is super cool, you know. It makes unnecessary um, corrections and it's not really that, um, it's not strict. It's nice, so it's been cool. It's been cool with him and I think I would want to do more with him too, so. It's been great, it's been nice working on this set with wonderful people like um, Saka, Tinamba and the rest, they are awesome. Well, you know, that one is normal thing. That one is normal thing, being a coordinator and a co-producer, trying to arrange the stuff, definitely there will be a challenges. We face a lot of challenges, but glory be to God, we achieve, we achieve it, we achieve it. My goal, honestly, is just to keep learning. Um, this is like my first full feature film, so, you know, I'm you know, still, you know, working on my skills. I do hope to be able to get more roles in the future and, you know, take away, you know, a bit of knowledge from this ex filming experience. Um, be expecting, you know, Nancy in the role Adela as someone who you probably would love. You, I mean, she's lovable, absolutely lovable, nothing to hate about her. So just expect a sweet girl who loves to help people. It shows the ties, the family ties that exist between the people in diaspora and people at home. It's our family ties and how families are related and how families are managed and how families are being protected and supported by one another. Uh, it's going to be a very fine movie you know, when it comes. Uh, into the cinema. So I recommend that people should go and watch it immediately it comes out. Yes, uh, I would not say particularly this because uh, I have really not uh, uh, in any way disappointed my fans. I think uh, this should be an addition to what I have been given. It's a consolidation of what I have given. You know what I'm saying? It's consolidation of what, what, what I have given and I am still very, very optimistic that uh, I'm yet to start with them. They're still going to be seeing me, enjoy more and more, and I'm going to be doing more of it. Wow, expecting. Well, you should be expecting very good, interesting, educative, educative, and little bit of comic story, yes, with very high technical, technical, and um, in fact, very big film in short into the in the cinema
I think probably the fact that I also like, you know, helping people and yeah, I don't have an organization, but I'm, I'm passionate about helping, mostly kids anyway, kids and women. My name is Balogun Omowe Mimo on the set of Alejandro. Trust me, you can't wait to see this and you would definitely enjoy it. I, I, can, I can assure you that. Hi guys, this is Nancy Isima and I'm telling you to anticipate the movie Alexander and keep watching Tribe TV. My name is Afi Zoyetoro, popularly known as Saka. Please keep watching Tribe TV. God bless you.